at you. <laughs> it's your big day, the happiest day of your life. I want you to take a moment to soak in your surroundings because your wedding day is something that only happens once every 15 years. Unless you're like my Aunt Kathy, who's had more spouses than a cult leader, but it's not about her, it's about me. I mean, you. It's about you. I couldn't be happier for you. Like, I physically cannot build up the serotonin in my brain to do it, but that's what deep breaths are for. So let's start by laying on our backs. I know mine is certainly exhausted for carrying around your bullshit for nine months, but hey, what are bridesmaids for, right? <laughs> Besides to help and pay thousands of dollars to not get a seat at the ceremony or any plus one at all. <laughs> Even though I would like to take a moment to announce that I am talking to a lot of guys right now. Like a lot, like a lot. Like now I want you to take a deep breath for me. Expand your chest even further than you did with that boob job in high school. Just make sure that that breath is a little more even. Once you have that breath, hang on to it and release the breath, letting go of all those doubts you expressed to me blacked out at your bachelorette party. Let go of the fact that Craig has a weak chin and shapely hips because this is your life now and probably your kids' lives too. Now I want you to take another large deep breath in and imagine that sea of dicks you had crashing against your face before you decided to settle for Craig. Now exhale and release those dicks back into the ocean for the rest of us bottom feeders. <sighs> that feels nice, doesn't it? Now I want you to be aware when your mind starts to wander off and just gently bring it back. We want to start recognizing these patterns for when Craig starts to wander off in about six months. Who knows, maybe more, because Craig is a huge <laughs> But that's why we love him. <laughs> love you, Craig. You know, you're my boy. <laughs> To focus on today, your wedding day. You're surrounded by people who care about you and alcoholics who will travel anywhere for an open bar. Even this golf course in Tampa. <laughs> Give it up for Miles. And a dad who still has not texted me back. <laughs> Love you, dad. Now when training your mind, it's important you have something to focus on and bring your mind back to. Maybe it's a question like, how do I know he's the one? Or a phrase like, I don't, but I'm 32. Maybe it's something external, like your father sitting in the corner crying because he no longer has to pay your phone bill. You just need to find that anchor so you can reel back in your mind when it starts to wander off and think all sorts of crazy things like, what the f am I doing? Don't be too hard on yourself. It's normal. We're all thinking it. We just want to find that stable point of reference to come back to when we realize that Marriage is just a ploy by the government to keep men in power, but also stay attentive to the world around us, especially to me, because I am very needy and alone. So open your eyes, take a deep breath, and accept the fact that you are marrying a 34-year-old man who still refers to his friends as his boys. Cheers and namaste.